Today I'll show you how I set up my projects using Dynamo and in this part one I'll show you how to manage your levels, scope boxes and create views. And part two I'll show you how to create sheets and put all these views on a sheet. Hi everyone, I'm back to you with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now I already have videos on project setup but I had a request from a viewer who wanted me to show the same process done in Dynamo. Let's get into it. Now before we start, let me show you my current project setup, which corresponds to the content that I already have in my template. I have three levels, and I recommend you use the maximum number of levels in your standards, and then um, you can always delete levels when you start a project. And I'm showing for this example, three plan groups, presentation plan, floor plan, and reflective seating plan. Now for each one, I have both the enlarged views and the overall views in terms of view template. You can see I have enlarged and overall. Now the first two steps that I take whenever I start a new project are verifying my levels and then verifying my school boxes. Now for levels, what I do is of course verify that I have the right amount of levels and then that these levels are named correctly. Now for my school boxes, I typically like to have placeholder school boxes right in my template. And as you can see, right now I have an overall scope box, which I use for the overall views. And then I have, in this case, four quadrant scope boxes that are named in order. For example, I created this one as first scope box and I called it quadrant A, and then the second quadrant B, and then C and D. The order is important for the Dynamo script to work, so I highly recommend you name them in the order, whether that's one to four or a to D. It doesn't matter the naming convention when you have it in the template and just write them in order and then when you start a new project you can easily rename your quadrants. Now before you start working on this script I recommend you download these uh, packages from uh, Spring Nodes and Clockwork. Now this script is based on a view selection. We're going to select the parent view and we'll generate dependent views from that parent view. I'll show you how to select it as soon as you run the script, but for now, just to create it, we'll use this uh, node from Spring Nodes, and we'll grab the names for the view that we just selected with this uh, node by Clockwork. And the next step is to rename this view based on our naming convention, and for example, the quadrant and the scope boxes that we picked. It could be section, part, whatever fits your naming convention. Just edit. Um, the names in here and that additional string will be appended to the original name of the view and that's how you get the enlarged view name and then at this point you have a new set of views with the right name and now what's left to do is to assign the right scope box which will define the right uh, crop region for that view and this is very simple you assign the scope boxes as parameter value and scope box is the parameter name. And at this point, you should have a new set of views as dependent with the right scale, the right crop region, and also the right view template. Now to run the script, let's select the views that are designated as the enlarged views. So now I have this uh, level one presentation plan. So I have it selected and I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this, run it. And as you can see now, we have four new views that are the quadrant views in this case. They have the right matching view template and they have the right quadrant name, or I should say scope box. And now we can do the same for all the other ones. So let's just do it one parent view at a time per the instructions. So. Let's toggle that back to there and we can do the same for level three. And then I can of course go ahead and uh, do the same for all the other groups. So now we generated all these views and all you really have to do next is to create the sheets and place these views on a sheet. Now the next step of course is to place these views on the respective sheet 
and I'll show you that in part two. I'll put a link in the description and eventually will be here in the cards. Till next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.